We're back. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of July 3rd. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me virtually through the Echo Space. Oh, that looks. I'm enjoying the Echo Space. The Echo Space is pretty nice. Um, <laughs> I've heard good things. Uh, Yelp gave it five stars, so I'm very excited about that. Um, interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alex, mm. how are you? Um, so you know, like when you get <laughs> over six hours of sleep, and you know, you know, you're refreshed, but you still feel the brink of like that tiredness. Right. Yeah, I'm at that point. Ah, oh, so you you got a good night's rest, but maybe yeah. too good. Is that what you're saying? Maybe because I feel like my body is so used to like four hours of sleep, mm -hmm. like then I I feel better with four. So like if I get over over four to like six, or like like I'm trying to get hit, I'm trying to do the normal eight to be healthy. Okay. But like if I do try to do that, I just feel like I'm tired. <laughs> I actually got a really good night rest, so I feel energized. I woke mm -hmm. up at like probably ten today or something like that, and I just feel Jeez. I just feel good. That's good. good. Maybe nine. I don't even remember what time it is. What time is it right now? I don't know. But it's it's definitely mm -hmm. not. Games should be less expensive. O'clock. Oh. Uh, oh goodness. I have too much power. Yep. Uh, yes, you do. Elijah <laughs> found a new toy. I found things that I can press and it makes noises, so I'm very excited. Yeah. But Alex, don't worry. I have other things to do. Every single Friday, like today, you can join us on the podcast service or YouTube of your choice and listen to our beautiful voices echo throughout the Echoverse. I think that's what I called it. Was it Echoverse? Is that what I said? Yeah, okay, I remembered. <laughs> then you can, uh, uh, and if you like us even more, then you can, of course, support us over on patreon.com slash easy achievers. You can give us a dollar, give us this an exclusive episode that you can only hear every single month on Patreon. That, of course, gives you access to discuss anything with us, topics, concerns, ideas, uh, trifles, anything like that. You can talk us out. And if you're a freeloader, don't worry. We are too. You can give us five stars. You can like us everywhere. You can give us all of the comments and watch time. And if you disagree with something, or you just want to scream at us, you can go over to our socials, Twitter, at EVM9000, at CravyFlipSkater. We have a Xbox-centric news week this week. Mm -hmm. Lots of Xbox. Um, that's good, because we're, you know, kind yeah. of... Yeah. We're X-heads. <laughs> has, -head. ever, has everyone ever said that before? I don't know. I like I that, know. though. x -head. We're X-heads. x, -head. x um, give it to you. But before we get into the x-head conversation i have a question to ask you alex hmm. what have you hmm. been playing um still trying to go for that platinum on last of us okay working on that and then i've i'm literally on the last mission of spiral for one so i can Ooh. thousand it and then i'm gonna continue on two and three. Oh, so you so you decide you're going straight to two and three yeah yeah okay. i'm i'm i want to go to last of us but like I'm doing like maybe like a couple missions for the collectibles here and there just so I don't get tired of it because uh -huh. I'm definitely going to replay the game on New Game Plus. But I don't want to be tired of it, so I'm giving it a break. Okay, I got you. <laughs> that makes sense. Now, this is a strange year because we've actually had time to play games we've missed. Mm -hmm. um, like we've had just huge windows and breaths of time to just sit down and play games. So that's this is this has been a fun, interesting year. Never um, happen again. Yeah, it will probably never happen. For uh, hopefully the receiver view, hopefully it doesn't happen again. I guess. Oh, but yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's just a weird thing I just thought of right now. Is like, God, it's uh, it's been a big breath between titles, so we've had a lot of time. Yes. Um, and what the next release is Ghosts, right? When does that come out? Ghost Shima. Literally in on the uh, fourteen days, two weeks. So yeah, because it comes oh, out the seventeenth. Way longer so than I thought. I thought Friday. it was like in a week. Two Fridays from now. Okay. No, Never. we got two weeks exactly. Never mind then. So we still have. So we still have time to play stuff. Wow. Two yep. full weeks. Okay. Never mind. I'm hoping I'd be I'd be done with the platinum for Last of Us before I, Ghosts come out. I guarantee I will be. Um, yeah. Because and I'll have that plat, and then I'll just I'll be able to be finished with that, and I'll probably go back to Spyro as well. I'm not sure yet though. Yeah. <laughs> Alex. Hmm. Speaking of Last of Us Part Two, Naughty Dog has no plans for Last of Us Part Two DLC. 
Um, Neil Druckmann went on the record on a kind of funny spoiler cast and said, quote, there are no plans for DLC. Um, this does dash all hope for any DLC that I was hoping for, um, but fans of the multiplayer can still look forward to that. They did say they were mm-hmm. working on that still, but there are no planned DLC. Um, he's lied to our faces before, but mm-hmm. I don't know why I believe this. I don't know. No. It doesn't really seem like there's anything to bring up. <laughs> like, I heard someone say you can play as, uh, you can play as Tommy, like what he does oh, in the three days. That sounds cool, but I I, I can I, mm. I I can only I mean I, I assume all he did was just straight up murder a bunch of people. But for those who played the game, I, I'm not really a fan of Tommy. So mm, yeah, so that was probably the only thing that you can make a DLC out of. But yeah, I mean that's um, cool. well after they said this, there was a thing I saw that um there's no plans for DLC. But there, there, there could be, you know, they they have, they're, they're open to part three. Uh huh. Oh yeah. For that's what, part three. I could, yeah. I, I think it's <clears> one <throat> of the thing. I think it's one of those things where it's like, when they feel it, like they'll do it. I saw a fan tweet out, or it might have been a comment or something, but they tweeted mm-hmm. out that uh, they think that we'll get a new IP from Naughty Dog next, and then the next game after that will be part three, which I could definitely yeah. see that happening. Oh, uh, I can see it too. Yeah, just whatever they're work, whatever they, whatever the second game they've been working on, whatever that is, that we see that, and then the next game after that, it's part three. That, that doesn't they're seem to make a, reasonable. They're going to make an Uncharted. N- no, 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 they're done with that. No? Them. No. You think, no. The, you the don't think they'll go is, with the daughter? Um. Well, the rumor is... Oh, who is it? Santa Monica? Is it not Santa? Sony San Diego? Something like that. Um, okay, because Santa Monica was a, um, that's, God of War. That's God of War, yeah. Um, yeah. I forget the studio. Am I, but there's a there's a rumor that the the there's a San Diego studio or something like that working on it. Um, okay. But there's another studio working on whatever the sequel to Uncharted is. Okay. Um, albeit his daughter or whatever that is. Um, which one is... Um... Uh, is it uh, Montreal or the one that does uh, Days Gone? Bend? Or is that Sonic no, Bend's? Oh, that's Bend. Okay. Yeah, it's Ben. <clears throat> ben, Ben's probably, I assume, making Days Gone too, but I have no idea. I Honestly, I would enjoy it, but I don't know how they would do it. I, I would enjoy it. They do live, leave it on a cliffhanger, <clears throat> but it's one <clears throat> of those games where it's like, eh, I'd be fine without ever getting that again. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I see. I, I enjoyed it. I, I know. Like, I I just love that bike, man. Yeah, it was I, fun. Yeah, I thought I thought it was I, the bike was cool. That was the least of the problems. But mm-hmm. moving on, Microsoft's second next gen Xbox reportedly set for August reveal. A leaked Microsoft document recently hinted at the company's second next gen Xbox. Um, just in case you guys didn't know, that is a separate article that they're bringing up. Um, that was there was a in company seemingly leak that stated a second next gen console was currently being produced um and we originally were going to talk about that but this kind of dashes that thing because we know it's real with all this stuff so we're just going to go over mm-hmm. this um but rumors suggest it will fully be revealed in august your gamer reports that microsoft had originally planned to unveil the console codename lockhart in june microsoft has now reportedly moved these plans to august and your gamer claims the console will be named xbox series s easy name very easy name. Mm-hmm. Um, Alex, I don't know what you think about that, but reading in between the lines in this first little statement here, it was mm-hmm. originally in June, moved to August. What I hear from that is they heard the feedback we got from the last thing, um, uh, from the May event. Mm-hmm. Maybe they heard feedback from that and that we preferred the PS5 thing so much that maybe they hopefully we worked their sentiment of how they do events. Yeah, I mean, I just... Um, I'm hoping that's I'm what caused the move. Tell. Yeah, I'm wondering what it entailed, because I'm sure that's what they were waiting for. They were waiting for, all right, they they have to make a move. Let's see what they'll do, and then yeah. we'll work from there. Yeah, uh, it's, e- assumably it's either because they heard that they're, that PlayStation would release the PS5 and what it looked like, and that would dominate that month, or mm-hmm. that they heard feedback from the community and said, hey, that last event was slam, especially compared mm-hmm. to the PS5 one. And they were like, all right, let's make the next one cool. I'm enjoying that um, 
they keep taking turns on months on doing reveals and stuff like that because it's not all in the same month and then we yeah. so we have yeah so it's like you know Something oh, to look forward to. we had june so now you guys had july so now we're gonna get august like, like that. <laughs> it, it's like a an early explorer um mm-hmm. how how in like the 1700s and 1800s that uh, countries were just claiming random spots of land and saying this is mine like th- i feel like that's what they do they go to a month and they're like th- this is mine like they put their stick down first and the other one's like well i'll take this one then and like, <laughs> yeah. like that, that's how i picture the board meetings <laughs> um, oh, Jesus. going back to this microsoft has been working on the second cheaper next gen xbox console for months a microsoft document leak last week shed some further light on the company's plans xbox uh series x dev kit codename dante Allows game developers to enable a special lockhart mode that has a profile of the performance that Microsoft wants to hit with the second console. While we've reported that this performance includes a slightly underclocked CPU, The Verge has seen additional documents that suggest Lockhart will actually have the same speed CPU as the Series X. The Lockhart console will also include 7.5 gigs of usable RAM, around 4 terap- uh, teraflops of GPU performance. The Series X includes 13.5 of usable RAM and targets 12 teraflops of GPU performance for comparison. So that is three times as many uh, GPU performance, and the RAM is doubled, basically, on the Series X. Mm. So, no, these aren't small numbers. They're, they're, that is a drastic difference, but they seem confident that this will perform just like the Series X will, so I, I, I guess we take their word mm-hmm. for it. Um, Alex, before we get into the rest of this, what do you think this will impact dev time? Right, they're saying like all all in studio uh, games will launch on both these, right? Um, of course, mm-hmm. but do do you think third parties will care about the Series S? Like, they will of course have to downgrade their existing games, assumably. So, do you think they'll even put the time of day to do that? Um. I would think they would just so they can have more of that option, mm-hmm. uh, just so they can get, for example, like if there's a like a third party game that they really they really want to sell, mm-hmm. they would want it to be on both consoles, not just on an exclusive, just a one. Yeah, I would assume that there's some sort of inhibitor maybe in the chipset that makes it easier mm-hmm. to downgrade it, so they don't have to put as much dev work in it. Yeah, um, but I'll be curious to see. If- would- yeah i'll be serious if like a game comes out and like hey we can't run on the series s because like we're just so graphically demanding so like Mm -hmm. we're only launching on series x like i wonder if microsoft would even let them do that i don't know i don't know these are all questions that we can only answer after the fact um uh, back to the article if the reports are accurate microsoft could choose august to unveil this second next gen xbox alongside pricing for the series x the second console is designed as a more affordable option with 1080p and 1440p monitors in mind. Microsoft <laughs> would have to detail some type of pricing alongside its Lockhart reveal, and it's reasonable to assume it will be heavily tied into the Xbox All Access subscription. I'm sure no one has heard of that. So just in case you haven't heard of that, All Access is currently priced at $20 for an Xbox One S All Digital Edition subscription. That includes Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, um, which is Xbox Live and Game Pass bundled in. Um, Microsoft is also bundling its Project X Cloud game streaming technology into Game Pass later this year, so a subscription next gen Xbox console could be appealing to those who don't need the more powerful Xbox Series X option. Twenty bucks is that? I'm assuming that's a month, right? Yeah, that's a month. It's a all access, so you essentially pay for the system and the service over the period mm-hmm. of uh, a specified amount of months, and then I think mm-hmm. you eventually own the system, if I remember correctly. And then you'll just keep paying f- for the service. I it, I don't remember. I only looked into it when it was announced, and then it I, it was so like I, it was so like I will never do that. I was like I don't care about this. Yeah. <laughs> um. What do you think about that last part? Right. Like, do you? This of course is appealing to consumers if they can hit a much lower price point. What <clears throat> price point do you think that is? Hmm. Now, price point for what exactly? Like the subscription or being able uh, to? Sorry, no, I don't. Do everything? Care. Sorry, I don't care about the subscription. I want specifically the C- Series S. What do you think the Series S will cost? Oh, it- I'm assuming it's going to be around three to four hundred. Mm. Because I feel there's no way that uh, the uh, Series X will be. Uh, nothing. I don't think it'll be four fifty. It has to be like five. Yeah, it'll probably be five. I think it'll just stick at five. 
Mm. Yeah, I think so too. I think it will be five hundred bucks. Um, I don't. It doesn't. It as of right now, it doesn't look like they're doing a non-disc version yet. Do you think the mm-hmm. Series S mm-hmm. will have a disc drive? Mm. Uh, no. No. Oh no, you don't think so? No, I think it they're gonna do. The thing. I think they were gonna do like the thing they did with the slim, yeah. the all digital. I think they're just gonna stick with that, and I, people are gonna people are gonna be like, "Oh, you're copying PlayStation," but yeah. technically Xbox did it first because they had the Xbox One S, yeah, all digital. So technically, they did it first. So, yeah. but um, we'll see how that turns out. I'll be very curious to see if they do that because that will I think knock the price good. down. That's an easy way to save money on. That's the what I'm saying. Like you'll, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like three, three fifty. You get the all. Um, you get the all Series S. So. I feel like that's what happens. Interesting. Okay, I I, th- I think so too. I agree. <clears throat> it's just crazy because what then what the what it, will the X go to? Because would that be three hundred or less than three hundred? Hmm. Like the the re- the regular one X. I assume they won't make it anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I know you can get a. I know it's very easy to get a one X um for three hundred bucks. Uh, mm. I think right now, if you bought one, literally at this moment right now, it'd be four hundred. Um, I think it's pretty impossible to still buy it at five hundred bucks, <laughs> so it's pretty easy to get it cheaper now. But oh, I'm assuming sure. they'll stop making all the other Xboxes once this start. Uh, event- eventually, they'll stop making them. Mm. Um, which is a good point because they did say that they're not making an exclusive game that won't come out on the last gen for at least three years. So you have at least those games to look forward to if you have the old- older consoles and you want to wait. Yeah. Xbox boss talks about importance of first party games and why <laughs> Xbox won't copy PlayStation's approach. This is a suit really good article over on um, GameSpot that I found. Um, that was actually really good. Um, so if you want to give it a full view, go over there, just click on the article, read it a little bit, give them that uh, click. This is a good article and I just want to bring it up. Microsoft Xbox team has in the past been criticized for a perceived lack of first party exclusives for the PlayStation and other competing platforms, but going forward, Xbox boss Phil Spencer doesn't believe this will be an issue. After acquiring studios like Obsidian, Double Fine, Ninja Theory, and starting a new studio with the writer of Red Dead Redemption, Microsoft now has 15 Xbox game studios, all of which are developing content exclusively for Xbox and PC. Uh, these studio acquisitions and formations came at no small expense, of course, and Spencer recently spoke of how this would be made possible thanks to the leadership from Microsoft higher-ups believing in Spencer's vision. Quote, first-party content is really important to where we're going, uh, Spencer said during a recent Game Lab event. It's important to our hardware platforms. It's important to things like Game Pass and our overall gaming strategy at Microsoft. As we got in place a new leadership team a few years ago, we started building our strategy and articulating our uh, strategy internally to the company. It mm-hmm. was really encouraging to see the support that we were getting from the board and senior leadership team at the company to go and grow our first party. Spencer said, <laughs> this is just a weird way, but Spencer said that he feels, quote, really good, and quote, about its numerous internal game studios and the projects they're working on. He also teased that, quote, many, end quote, of the company's upcoming games have not been announced yet. Mm. Alex, mm. I have one question for you. Mm. Fable. Yes. We did hear this week that the uh, uh, trademark got renewed, and the yes. intended use w- uh, was stricken. Yes. So we can now look forward to a Fable, as well. I think and there. It's not going to be a Fable Four. I think it's just going to be Fable. No. Yeah. I think it will just be called Fable, or it will be Fable colon chicken disaster Albion. you know some some crazy thing like that like it'll be you know it'll have some sort of moniker attached to it mm-hmm. uh but i think that's one of the games he's probably talking about there probably i'm very excited for for this specific right here like all of this what he's saying like like all of the first party stuff how all that's coming back um we're slowly starting to get ex- exclusives again like it's been a while <laughs> Like, yeah. like all, all we, we had, had was, was Halo. Thank you. Yeah, just about to say, all we had is Halo, and then we had like Gears Four and Five. Like that's really the only ones I can point to and be like, that's awesome. Ori was cool, um, but no, that's like I mean Forza as as always. Yeah, yeah. Every Horizon I love, 
Um, mm-hmm. I never got into the motorsport ones, but the Horizons I love. But but now we can actually point to things in coming months that will be mm-hmm. like this is cool, like you know Hellblade and other games of the nature. Um, going yeah. back to the article, also during the event, Spencer said he does not want to try and copy a competitor's approach to first party game development. Some people have spoken about PlayStation titles like Uncharted and God of War and asked Microsoft where its equivalent games are. Spencer said Microsoft is thinking differently. First party content is really important where we're going. Spencer said during a recent Game Lab event, it's important to our hardware platforms. As we got in place a new leadership team a few years ago, we started building our strategy and articulating our strategy internally to the company. It was really encouraging to see the support that we were given, getting from the board and the senior leadership team at the company to go and grow our first party. Dope. Yep. Dope. I'm very excited for this. Hopefully we get a drastic change in <clears throat> first party and how it's been treated. Uh, I want new games. Now, I will be. I will say I was one of those people that asked, like, where are our Uncharted's? Where are our God of Wars? Like, where are our narrative third-person games? And I, I think I can read between the lines and said, and, like, Phil doesn't want to make anyone make that. Like, he doesn't mm-hmm. want to go to a dev and say, hey, I need you to make an Uncharted game. Like, so I think he's just, like, getting studios and, like, make your thing. Like, what, what what's the thing you're making, right? I think that's why we're yeah. seeing games like Grounded, where, like, I, that does not look appealing, but that's what the studio wanted to make. So mm-hmm. he did. So it doesn't look like he's making anyone do anything, which is interesting. Make um, Scalebound? No, let Scalebound die. Just let no. it let it go. Let it go. I think doesn't Switch have it now? I thought did Nintendo buy that IP for Platinum or something like that? Uh, I think they did. Good for good for Nintendo, I guess. Enjoy that. <laughs> Enjoy that dead game. <laughs> now, I want to bring this up as well. This seems super cool and and could be one of the coolest things that we've that we slash Xbox has ever done. So, Summer Game Fest demo event coming July twenty first to Xbox near you. Um, this is over on the official Xbox.com. Uh, website if you've been lucky enough to attend e3 pax gamescom or another show in the past you know that above and beyond the spectacle of these shows one of the great joys of attending a marquee gaming event is being able to get your hands on games lots of games getting to try them out early and discovering lots of new games is awesome well we can't recreate the experience of attending a big show entirely we can help you get your hands on lots of cool new games as announced by jeff Keeley as part of summer games fest xbox is proud to reveal that our summer games fest demo event We'll be live on Xbox One from July 21st to July 27th. We'll have more than 60 brand new game demos for upcoming unreleased Xbox games available to check out for free. Look for the special Game Fest demo tile on the Xbox One dashboard that week to find the collection of available demos. <clears throat> and then they do a few things to keep in mind. These are not normal game demos, that, that is in quotes. Typically the demos you see in our demo channel are created after the game is completed or nearly completed and represent the final version. Many of these demos are early and some of are for games that won't be out for quite some time. We've never done this before and that's what it means is that you'll get to experience these games early, some way early, which is awesome, but you should also note that these games will continue to evolve and be polished as their near release. In other words, think of these as akin to quote unquote show floor demos and not necessarily indicative to the final product. And speaking as somebody who has worked in the industry for a while, that's not a bad thing. In fact, being able to check out games early then see how they evolve is freaking awesome um and then these demos will only be up on the dashboard for a week some might be republished to the demo channel later but many will simply evaporate at the end of the week so make sure you check them out while you can <laughs> i don't know why why that sounds so dire but it does to me it's like it's, they'll simply evaporate <laughs> like it's <laughs> jesus like they're getting thanos snapped out of existence uh and, yeah developers would love to hear what you think hit them up on the social media or through their websites if you like the game tell them if you have constructive criticism they would love to hear that too <laughs> I'm sure they would. As I mentioned, we'll have a lot of games somewhere between 75 and 100 when the dust settles. We'll announce the full list closer to July 21st, but here are some highlights. And then they go out to, to talk about Alex. There you go. You can play Destroy All Humans. Oh. That's one of the yeah. demos. Um, Haven, huh. that looks cool. There's a bunch of them on here that you can talk. Oh, Skatebird. I can play Skatebird. Okay. Hey, we. I like my demos. Yeah, you like demos. So you'll have a whole week of demos. You have over 60 
anywhere between 75 and 100, which is pretty insane. Yeah, that bandwidth. It's, <laughs> yeah, you're da- you're downloading like a bunch. Um, I'm ass- yeah, I'm assuming you're downloading these, so that sucks. It'd be cool if you could stream them, but then that would add even more difficulty to it. So maybe I, maybe I'm glad they're not doing that. Maybe that's what they'll do. They'll be like, with the power of xCloud, you'll be streaming these. That would be dope. I doubt it, but that would be yeah. dope. Like, I would yeah. love to see that. Now, Alex, hmm. we've hit the halfway point of this. You know what that halfway point means? Mm, it means an break? ad. Oh, oh, yeah, lunch break would probably be better, actually. But but I already planned the ad, so I can't really cancel the ad. Okay, so I guess I'll still do the ad. My, my hunger will suffer. <laughs> and what I mean by an ad, ladies and gentlemen, I mean patreon.com slash agglers is where you can get an exclusive episode every single month for only $1. Yes, that's right. I know you're asking yourself, what is that? Only a dollar? I throw away a dollar every day. I'm like, yes, I know. Give, us the, give it to us instead. <laughs> give us that dollar every single month. That gives you an exclusive every month that you are uh, a supporter of patreon.com slash CG Achievers. And then any more, you can get it early, you can get it ad-free, you can get it uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and you can even be read your name live on air if you give us um, enough money. Ad ends now. Back to this. So now, about lunch. Yeah, yeah, so back to lunch. Um, <laughs> Alex, right now, what's for lunch? Mm, i honestly have no idea i don't know them. either i i had some leftover like macaroni and cheese i made last mm, night see, i'm gonna make a good like ham sandwich mm, ham okay okay put some roast beef on there some Ooh, pastrami, okay. some, some hard salami on there okay all right all right that's a lot of meat but that's how i make my sandwiches too okay so when i make my sandwiches i have to have at least two to three different meats see i like the difference i know some people don't but i i i welcome I the difference Mm-hmm. Alex, next game. <laughs> Speaking of difference, <laughs> let's let <laughs> let's have a different price for video games. Next yeah. gen games will be seventy dollars. Um, so this is on the back of NBA Two K Twenty One, stating that their version of PS Five and Xbox Series S will retail for seventy dollars. Alex, right mm. there. What do you think? Just that. Not talking about anything else. What do you think? So at first Give I was me like, your off the cuff hot take. For so at first I was like, really sixty bucks. I'm like, God, it's already expensive. Seventy bucks. But like, oh, that's what well, you're saying. Sorry. No, like just current gen Sorry. is already sixty. So my mind is like seventy bucks. Oof, I'm uh, uh, all right. I guess I'll try to figure out what mm-hmm. to do. But um, I mean, I then I thought of after talking to you about it, I was like, you know, yeah, it has been. They have been sixty bucks for a while, but like since two thousand five. I don't see a reason to jump up. I mean, of course, there's a reason, but I don't. I, I, I wouldn't see a reason for it. But like they, yeah. I know it's sometimes called for inflation, and uh, you just go I get up it. to stuff. No, yeah, I, I, and hey, you personally don't see it. I personally don't see it either. Um, I mm-hmm. think I think it's important to note that it's probably actual game development is what makes mm-hmm. it so expensive. This, yeah, because to to me, I'm like, what, like. I'll take the words from my wife. I was like, why fix something that's not broken? Yeah, that that's true. And certain game devs are making a lot of money now. It could be getting to that point where it's just not sustainable. Um, yeah. I've heard over the years that just the actual culture and the community of the game is getting broken because that they can't afford certain things or that they're not making enough money to make it sustainable for a lot mm-hmm. of uh, publishers. Now, this... This most likely, and I'm reading it this way, is the canary in the coal mine stating that, hey, next-gen games are going to be 70 bucks. Now, mm-hmm. I don't think that means every game is now getting $10 more expensive. I think high-quality AAA games are getting going to be $10 more, right? So your NBAs, your Maddens, your, um, I don't know, Fa- uh, let's say Fable. Fable, um, the next Last of Us, Uncharted, whatever, whatever you want to put it. Like the huge AAA you know movie kind of experiences that we play like those will probably be 70 bucks Mm -hmm. i feel like if ori or celeste you know the smaller indie games if they came out i don't think necessarily they would be ten dollars more i think in certain instances they will but i i don't think this is a ten dollar increase across the board i'll be curious to see if people fall asleep there have been stories saying publishers are looking into increasing prices um 
which I think every I, I think right now the game industry is trying to slowly change it to 70s so no one panics. Like they're like that like this is the first game. First off, shout out to 2K for being the first one. Someone's got to do it. And Oof, if yeah. anyone's going to do it, it's NBA because they don't care. <laughs> they will take well, that, all of your money. Know, yeah, and they for sure they they're the ones that are going to get something because I mean, who's not going to buy like NBA and stuff like that? True, yeah. Like I have so many NBA friends that play that game. They would probably buy it if it was eighty dollars. I'll be straight oh, for up sure. for real with everybody. I <laughs> like mean, that's usually what they buy that a crazy expensive one. What is that one gonna be like ninety dollars now? It's gonna so, usually twenty bucks more. So if you remember the, the so like um NBA two K, let's say twenty. They mm-hmm. I don't remember what it was called. I think they're usually called the legend editions. Mm-hmm. Last year it was a hundred dollars. I be- I believe it's still a hundred dollars. Uh I honestly don't I'm trying to find that real quick. I can only imagine the look on parents' face when their kid is like, Hey, can I get this game this basketball game for my kid? Yeah. Okay. How, 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 much, how much is it? Hundred bucks. Oof. Okay. <laughs> you you are like, no. <laughs> it looks like the Mamba edition for which is the special edition for is 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 still a hundred, so it doesn't look like that got increased at all. Just the standard edition. Now, okay, Alex, I'm. <clears throat> what what do you think first of just two K doing this? So, do you think we're gonna hmm. actually see a diff? My my thing. I don't have a problem with games getting more expensive. My issue is why is NBA 2K21 ten dollars more expensive on just the next gen console? Now, if there are so many improvements that I'm like, okay, ten bucks, that seems worth it. This is like it, a maybe graphic fidelity. Yeah, maybe there's some sort of upgrades or something. But as of right now, mm. I have no context for that, so I'm just going to assume that there's nothing. But I, mm-hmm. it looks like there's no difference and it kind of comes off across that they're just doing it to do it because they get to say they're on the new system and you're like oh we're on the new system so that means we're ten dollars yeah. more and it's probably easier for people to understand that where yeah, I, sure. it'd be it'd be worse if that all of the nbas were 10 bucks it's like no no it's just the next gen because it's more strong and people will probably oh that makes that makes sense so mm-hmm. i'm curious if that's why they're doing it um because i'm assuming the publishers have wanted to do this for a while it's just no one wants to be the first no one wants to be the first publisher like 2k was that or like what are you what are you doing <laughs> why are you yeah. more now i don't know but what do you what do you think yeah, um yeah i'm wondering why uh, why like like you said the regular the what was the hundred dollar one i forget what it's called the mamba, mamba edition yeah that was yeah, that Kobe Bryant's the same name. and the standard one is the only one and you said it was only in current but i think it is just to where like that I mean probably there's certain features that um that one will have so be like oh if you want to make it look like you know super 4k or whatever the hell it's gonna call you know you get that's why that you get on the next gen right um I, it reminds me of the Black Ops. I can't remember which one it is. I think Black Ops Three. I, well, it was on three hundred and sixty, but uh-huh. it looked really like oof compared to the Xbox One version. Because mm-hmm. like on the Xbox One version, you can see like it's a tank, and you can see the gun and stuff like that really good. But then if you go back to the three hundred and sixty version, you could see like that the can- the tank turned into a van instead, <laughs> and like, the guns changed, and, and like you could see like the they changed the way the graphics were just because it was too much. <laughs> I don't remember that. It's awesome. It's yeah. like it's a van now. It's a transformer. Yeah, yeah it's it, yeah. They they instead of a tank, they took the they took the object away and they made put a van instead. <laughs> okay, that's weird, but all right. Yeah. Oh, I wonder why. But I think this is a long time coming. Um, mm. I'm not. I I don't want to mistake people. I am not happy. Mm. This is ten dollars more. <laughs> I, like <laughs> I, I'm not excited to spend more money. Like I'm. But I think that it is a reasonable ask for ten dollars more. Yeah. Um. If you guys want to research at home, I want you to go to usinflationcalculator.com. You can then point in to whatever year you want and say what it's worth now. And if you do that to two thousand five and now, sixty dollars mm-hmm. has gone from sixty. The actual value, um, of sixty dollars has gone up. So that means it's now seventy. So you've actually lost money. So they've mm-hmm. technically 
are just making it uh, in rate of inflation. Mm-hmm. So blame inflation. <laughs> Yeah, blame the gov- happens, blame the government if you want if you're mad that the uh, the game is more expensive. <laughs> yeah. All right, Alex, this is a quick one. Square Enix will announce several new games in July and August. This is one of those stockholder things. They just go have a stockholder meeting. They have a talk. They go, hey, we're announcing some games. Okay, and then that's about it. They don't go into any specifics. <laughs> they just bring up we're gonna debut some games, um, and they're all individual. I think it was ten. Was that the number? I don't remember. Do you remember, Alex? Um, Let me see. What was... I can't... I can't remember, to be honest. Let me see if I can look real quick. Oh, okay. No, they never gave a number. They just said several new games. Okay, yeah. That's what I was saying, because I don't remember they gave it an actual number. No, no, they didn't. They just said several new games, so my apologies. Um, okay. But, Alex, what do you think of that? It, 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 first off, what do you th- can you think of a game that they'll be announced? Because I can only think of two that, that are really... Hmm... My quickly is Final Fantasy, like for me. Yeah, I feel like Final Fantasy, or I don't know if they'll go to another Tomb Raider. I so that was my thing. That was that was my second game. Like, would it be Tomb Raider? And if it is Tomb Raider, is it a sequel <laughs> or like are they gonna reboot it? I don't know if they're interested in doing that anymore. To be honest, like, I don't know. I don't. I never finished Rise of the Tomb Raider. I um, couldn't get into it to be honest. Yeah. Um. I just. I have no idea what it could be. I mean, it, unless they talk about the the Kingdom Hearts rhythm game, um, that they that they That's talked true. about. They technically the announced that already, so I assume they won. Yeah, but maybe maybe they are counting that. Um, yeah, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Yeah, maybe. yeah. From Square, I'm assuming there probably might be either, um, uh, new IPs or something we just don't know about yeah. yet. It'll be crazy if you see Final Fantasy like sixteen or something. I'm, I feel like we will. It's been a while now. I mean, usually they mm-hmm. announce Final Fantasy <clears throat> games pretty quickly. I think because fifteen was such a money eater because they had to switch it from Versus thirteen to this, that mm-hmm. that they just kind of gave it a break and were like, we just gotta let Final Fantasy breathe for a while because they've been yep. like throttling that game so much and they're making money off their mmo game too MMO, yep. so they probably don't even worry about it <laughs> about another final fantasy because they could just keep updating 14 oh yeah for sure oh and they keep re-releasing the other final fantasies too so they're just making money off that as well alex we got xbox game pass for july is it pretty decent month nothing crazy uh fallout, uh, fallout 76 is coming july 19th soul caliber 6 july 1st Cross code July 9th, out of the park baseball twenty one July twenty first. Um, seventy six was ninth as well. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. two of them were on the ninth, and two of them were on the first. Yep. Dope. <clears throat> Very exciting. Yep. <clears throat> uh, nothing crazy. If you want to try out seventy six, though, you'll be able to. And you see if you'll like it. I heard there's a bunch of upgrade uh, updates. There mm-hmm. was the new. Have oh fun. god, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I know, right. Have fun. Enjoy that. I don't remember what the new uh, Wastelanders. They had the new Wastelanders thing. I think that was finally added. I know that was delayed like three times, but I think that's in the game yeah. now. I'm yeah, not it's sure. Okay, it is. All right, so you can I play that now. They were added AIs. Fine, uh, cool. I guess. <laughs> um. Uh. I heard Crosscode's good. I'm gonna try that. That would be my game. That I'll probably try from all this. Maybe Soul Calibur Six because I I like them fine. I never really get into them um it's, it's one of those months i'm like hmm, i can skip it yeah yeah i'm not saying anything most likely for me too i've never been a so caliber person i have no idea what the other two are i want to try crossroad. Six, just, you just know i want to try crossroad because i've heard of that before yeah playstation plus games celebrating 10 years of playstation plus july 7th through august 3rd nba 2k20 rise of the tomb raider and there's a bonus game erica kind of a okay month i guess it's whatever nba give us vr games instead yeah i yeah i'll be curious on if they ever start that right are they ever going to give us vr games because it seems like that time has come and go (laughs) like if they were going to do it they would have i feel like done it already but i I guess they're they're just not going to do it yeah i don't think they'll do it yeah um iron man vr came out actually over the uh over this week um uh uh are you interested in getting that alex are you getting it um i'm gonna wait just because okay. i mean i i feel like i i feel like i will play it right but i don't feel like that i'm gonna play it as much as i would want to 
um okay. i think i just want to kind of like try it out i'm like okay this is fun i just don't know if i'm gonna get if i'm if i'm gonna be as in uh what is it called invested as into yeah invested as i would be like for example like in beat saber ah I just it looks fun, but I just I feel like that I'll fall really quickly from it. I kind of feel that too. I want to play it, but it looks like one of those games that is just so plain, I guess for lack of a better word, mm. that I'm just not it's not going to grab me and I'm just going to but like I want to be Iron Man though. Like really that's all I want to do from it. Mm -hmm. So if it's I guess a good enough Iron Man simulator whatever you want to call it then i kind of am interested but it's pretty much what it is yeah like i like if i can just be iron man for a little bit that that seems cool now it does look like all you do is shoot drones the entire game and mm. it looks like it's the same model over and over again i'm not sure yeah you know, i'm not sure because i didn't play a full game but it looks like that's all you do and that could mm. be disappointing but it looks like you're like saving an airplane or something mm. the i mean the, there's this um free uh, spider-man type demo thing for the vr on that um you can swing around actually and uh you can shoot webs and stuff like that and like that was pretty fun but like after a while i'm like okay i'm done but it like i gave it maybe like two hours and that was it yeah uh, i hopefully, feel like that's how this is gonna give me hopefully that, <clears throat> hopefully this is more but yeah m most likely that would be my uh fears too that, be, that i'll play and be like eh, this this is this is not for me <laughs> mm -hmm. all right alex that's the news for the week. I have one more question before I let you go today. What is that? What's queued up for the weekend? Mm. What you got queued up? Is there something specific you're going back to? Is it the, is it just spiral over and over again? Um, for now, for right now, I'm just chilling because it's an it's just a it's one of those games where Spyro is just like a chill game that it's you can so just true. have. So I'll have Spyro. Um, I'm actually um, interested in watching Hamilton today because it went on Disney yeah, Plus today. Yeah, I will probably watch that after I get back from work today. That sounds yeah. fun. I have to house it, my parents' house, so I'll mm. be busy with that. Yeah, um, see, I got grandparents that's... coming today. Mm, so we both have so, things. <laughs> yeah, so we've been cleaning up. Yeah, so I'll be over there. I'll probably watch Hamilton. That's something easy I can do. I can just throw on Hamilton and watch that. I'll probably do that after work and then um queued up what else I, I think that's it i'm i might try dark again <laughs> over the weekend oh i uh, finished that you finished it oh my god that that show was nuts can you give can you give me a season score and then a show score so what okay. so how good was season, the season and then how good was three, the show altogether? i'd give i'd give it to eight to nine okay because it, it was really it was really good i like this season a little bit better than two but it's 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 i mean throughout for like for the show i i mm, i give the show about eight or nine to be honest i just i really enjoyed it okay even though it's so weird and like out, out there i'm like i and I, I never had a moment to where like it lost me okay so like i did i did enjoy it because i was always wondering you know oh what's gonna happen oh what is this oh what is that how does this connect how does that connect did you ever um, think like wow it's dark yes <laughs> <laughs> but you'll dark. see uh, they actually um explain a little bit kind of like for example okay you know how in last of us you know she's a uh, don't spoil spoilers. stuff don't spoil stuff okay spoilers, okay yeah. yeah i guess if you want to read spoilers or watch spoiler or listen to spoilers listen to our spoiler cast yeah um but, but, but yeah, they explain stuff, like stuff. yeah yeah they, they kind of explain how the title entails um but no, it was, it was really fun. I finished it, and the ending, I'm not going to lie, was like, whoa. Okay, okay. I'm excited. Yeah, it, to me, it was it was like, I, you know, it was uh, worth it. Okay, I'll make sure to watch this then. Um, but yeah, that's my cue. Hamilton, I'll watch. I'll probably keep playing Spyro or something easy, and then I'll probably plot No More Last of Us. I have to do it before mm -hmm. Ghost of Shima comes out for sure. Oh, for sure. Because I'll have much more of a problem getting back to it after that. so big. Yeah, that yeah. I I'm hoping it's good. I know that's weird, but like it, it looks, looks fun. It looks good. It looks fun. It just doesn't look amazing. I, I it doesn't look mean. amazing. Like it doesn't look mm. like a God of War, which I sh I don't think I should be saying every game needs to be God of War. 
Like, uh, but yeah, like, yeah, it doesn't you. look as good. It doesn't look like the equivalent in its space. Yeah, I, I, that's understandable. Yeah, but on that note, thank you so much for joining me, Alex. That was a very thank prompt you for go- uh, uh, door close back there. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it's for some reason like these walls are just like thin. Thin, they're so thin. You need some insulation. I think that's what dampens in between. I don't. I don't know. May- I'm maybe not, I'm not a mechanic. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, I just got a notification on my phone that that um I think my wife just bought Captain America. Did you know that Captain America is on Fortnite? Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, apparently they added him. Apparently his back is in his back like a pickaxe or something, or you could throw it or something. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't, what, I don't know. I don't know. Um, my little brother was telling me about it. He said something about the you can do something with the shield, but I don't know. It's probably an emote, I assume. Maybe. But uh, yeah, no. So. I'm getting off. I'll probably go buy him too because I have to own every comic version of everything on Fortnite. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, thank you for joining me. Thank you for talking out. This was a fun week. Um, again, patreon.com slash if you want to give us a buck. If you want to support us, that keeps the mics on, the lights on, Alex's dog's fed, and it keeps me from getting just a little closer to the edge. <laughs> uh, we'll, keep you there. we'll keep you from there, man. <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining us. Go Chief. Go Chief.